Besieged Russians in Volchansk, they are unable to break blockade, their attacks are unsuccessful. In Volchansk of Kharkiv region, fighting continues, the situation is changeable, the blocked occupiers must surrender or die. The representative of the communications department of the operational tactical group of troops Kharkiv, Vitali Sarantsev, said this. He noted that the enemy has been increasing the pace of offensive operations in the Kharkov direction, looking for ways to penetrate our defenses and making attempts to dislodge Ukrainian units from occupied lines. With the participation of assault detachments of the 153rd Tank Regiment, 47th, tank division, the enemy tried to conduct offensive operations in the residential areas of the city of Volchansk but was repulsed, Sarantsev noted. According to him, military clashes continue in Volchansk, the situation is very changeable. As for the situation with Russian units at the aggregate plant, I would prefer that we stop creating this myth of the Volchansk martyrs since we only contribute to the glorification of those occupiers who are there. They now have three options, surrender to the Ukrainian military as prisoners and appear before Ukrainian justice or appear before an international court or appear in front of God's court. We are ready to assist as much as possible in the implementation of all three options, Sarantsev said. He also said that along the border between the settlements of Gluboko and Lukyansky, isolated movements of occupiers' personnel were observed in order to evacuate the wounded and replenish material and technical means. As reported, the Russian occupiers were surrounded at the aggregate plant in Volchansk, Kharkov region. According to the Russians, the occupiers have been unsuccessfully trying to unblock their military on the territory of the plant since June the 13th. Russian soldiers at the plant are constantly under fire, leading to an increase in the number of wounded and dead. Yesterday, June the 26th, a representative of the operational tactical group Kharkov, Yuri Povk, Answering the question of what is known about the aggregate plant and whether Russian military personnel really remain there, to whom there is no access, said, this enclave remains blocked by the forces' defense of Ukraine. Которые стали не нужны, которых прячут от всех, от кого неизвестно. Клетки сынарника. Видимо, приходили в Мукаду, зло. Да. Сука, а что это зло, сука? Или держится на этой руках, а вот держит людей, вот они, сынарники, блядь, ебать. Воинов, блядь, держит тут нахуй, сука, пиздец. Вот опять же видео. Батя, покажи, что у тебя с пальцами. Покажи, что с пальцами у тебя. Покажи, смотрите. Вообще пальцы, куда он даже и вон, не работает. Пальцы в обратную сторону загибается, ничего не работает. Пацан находится здесь, ВВК прошел, ничего не видит она. Пацан без ноги, без глаза находится. Нету ноги вообще, выше колена нету ноги, блядь. Ебаный в рот сидим в этом подвале, блядь. Тут без рук люди, с руками, блядь, елки палки поломанные, блядь, брошенные. Ну и куда это годится, срачник такой, блядь, ебать, пиздец, нахуй, блядь, пленный держит, нахуй, блядь, все держит, будет за огородку. Сейчас еще, еще будет дополнение к этому.